Hello again, this is Pearls showing my Let's Play of King Duke and Dungeon, and I've been wandering around this room for a little while, and I think I finally got the serpent where I want him. If you remember from last time, I've been chasing a bunch of them all around the room very dramatically, and uh, I think this guy's going to be fooled finally. <laughs> I'm going to do a little dance, because that was a fun secret room, even if it meant no strategy whatsoever and more just running around aimlessly like a chicken with my head cut off, but it was a ball! And now we are done with this room, and we got the secret room done. It has been a good floor, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to see what lies in store in King Duke and Sungeon. I probably ought to skip past this level, but a contract is a contract. Where did I put those bread crumb? No. This is made by someone different. Lucas Swineford, I know what your game is. I know this level is pain. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh. Um well, this is going to be a treat. Um well, this level's a big old maze. And there's like one roach if I remember right, somewhere like off to the left, and I have no idea how to get to it. Um so from this entrance here, I have like one, two, three, four, five, four hundred thousand ways I can go, looks like. Uh, hold on. I'm rubbing my temples right now, trying to get the tension out of my eyes. Uh, hold on, I'm going to pour myself a Manhattan. What the... Uh, well, let's just get at it. Uh, I'm going to start from the left here and just kind of work my way up through the passageways and take the left wall relative to B-throw, skipping the ones that I can see where it's clearly um, uh, going to loop around back somewhere and see where this takes me. Oh god, I guess I should like, maybe I should talk about myself or something like that. Whoop. Well, this uh, definitely was not the way to go, so this bottom path is not the right way, so what would be the next one I should do? This one, probably. God, I hate this level. This will be like four episodes of just pure carnage and pain. Man. Whoop, wait, wait. So yeah, I'm going to just continue down these paths for a little... What the? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I've eliminated these first four for the most part. Uh, following the left paths. I'll skip over paths where it seems like I should have gone like you know around here, but I can see ahead. I'm not stupid. Uh, so let's just keep looking for left paths. Anyway, I'm going to maybe chat about myself or something like that. So, as you probably all guessed, I know it's a big mystery and a surprise, but my real name isn't Pearls, though uh, I wouldn't be too upset if it was, um, but because people use um, this weird novel concept called uh, being anonymous on the internet. It's 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 pretty novel. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. But um, where I got the name Pearls is at least a good story. Uh, I'm kind of a, a pretty big video game fan, and uh, Pearls is the name of... Well, never mind. This is going to just lead straight back out. Um, the, there's a f series of DS games called like Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney where there was a little girl in there that was very headstrong and goofy um, and her name was Pearls and I found her character uh, pretty fun and then some arbitrary game a friend recommended me play needed I needed a character name and I was you know not too thrilled about having to choose a character name or even playing this game in general so I settled on the first and most girly name I could think of, just to be insulting, and that happened to be Pearls. So, so it was like a double entendre of one girly and two, just a name I generally liked. Um, so that's kind of stuck since then. Well, we're back at the entrance. So yes, I am named after a girl child thing. I am not upset about this in the least. 
so what else? I guess I could talk about my interests. Uh, you know, most people subdivide these things into categories like, oh, what did you study in school? Or, oh, never mind, this turns right around. Or, uh, what music do you like? What, m what movies, what video games, things like that. Since I really have nothing to talk about. For the sake of being, well, no, I should probably go this way. Just gonna turn around and go right back this way. Um, so yeah, I guess I can talk about the movies and stuff I like. Let's start with movies. Movies, I am kind of, uh, I mean, I like my my action flick like anyone else does, but um, American Beauty, that is a sexy film, you know. I love that film, and the reason is I think is just it shot so well, and I find the music that it chose to use as um, to display its scenes. I found it to be very entrancing and alluring, and. I don't know, there's something about that floating bag scene in the middle of American Beauty that always gets me. But if I had to like guess why why it's my favorite film, it's just I don't know, it's just beautiful. Most people see it like, oh it's a teen movie, but no, it's 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 so much more than that. And uh This isn't gonna lead me anywhere pleasant, I can already tell. Um This will though, but yeah, American Beauty. I don't know. It's I don't like. I'm not a crier I, by any stretch of the imagination. But American Beauty is probably one of the few films that I will get a little weepy in, especially towards the end, where it's like uh, there's a culmination of the idea of what beauty is, and I think it comes across very, very well. Uh, other movies I like, uh, Requiem for a Dream. I'm pretty sure if I were in charge of like the board of education. I don't want to go this way. I'm gonna just retreat for a second. I have a feeling this is the wrong way. It's like taking me in the wrong general direction. Uh, but anyway, um, Requiem for a Dream. If I was like part of the board of education, I think I would require all high school students to watch the Requiem for a Dream in order to deter them from using drugs. Uh, I can't find, I can't really think of a more effective method that I personally that would deter me personally from uh, using drugs because man they will ruin your life in a big hurry and Requiem from a Dream doesn't try to hide that at all and uh, oh, it's, it's just such a fantastic film especially the uh, I forget her name and it's really embarrassing that I do because I love that actress um, that's, that's in that film where was I going? I have a feeling like this is the way I want to go. Anyway, yes, I love the actress of the old woman in American Beauty because, I don't know, she, she plays the part of like an old a mother who wants to be beautiful again because she thinks she's won a game show and starts taking some uppers and how quickly they destroy her life and oh, it's heartbreaking but portrayed and acted so well. I get shivers just thinking about it. Uh, what else do I like? I kind of like this recent movie called um, Tree of Life. It was very eccentric, but had a lot of good imagery, and I felt the music was immaculately chosen. Um, if I had to like, pick a more common movie that I really think is fun, like the standard of Shawshank Redemption is, I think, is a pretty, pretty decent film. It's one of those few things where, like, like Harry Potter, I felt was a, in my opinion, a poor film adaptation in general. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was good. But, but I, it wasn't near the quality and caliber of the books. Where I felt like the Shawshank Redemption was, um, it, it expanded upon the books so much that it actually improved. Like, the movie is more enjoyable to watch than the book was to read which I felt a pretty impressive feat, all things considered. Anyway, oh, I'm at the end of my episode, so we'll continue the story about myself later. Bye!